Hello everybody, it's the 7th of June 2015, Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. Now, I have in front of me here some rather sort of curious looking plants, otherwise known as Bottle Gourd, Long Melon, or another name is Upo, U-P-O. But um, I'm going to refer to them as Bottle Gourds because I believe that, um, you know, this represents what the uh, fruits that come off of them look like, and they were in the past used as bottles when the fruits were dried so uh bottle gourds here we go now i set these i think about five weeks ago they are a tropical plant so um obviously not the normal thing we would grow in the uk but uh, i like to give things a go now these get pretty big and um, they are like a climbing sort of gourd um, and they have been known to cover the sides of buildings where they uh, where they originally come from but um you know they're going to have to deal with the uh, growing in a, a polytunnel, so they're going to go here. That's probably about uh, two meters by one meter, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them out, so they're like space them out neatly, and as they grow, I will put in beam poles and tie them to them, and so that's how I will make the climbing frame as they grow. So uh, this growing medium, once again, it's uh, it's a non-dig bed. It's got you can see cardboard at the bottom. See that under there? It's it cardboard. Lots and lots of horse manure in here. Potting compost, fish, fish blood and bone, calcified seaweed, coffee ground. So it's a very nutritious bed. Hopefully, these uh, bottle gourds will like it. Okay, so you can see I've set them in here, these bottle gourds. They're not as far apart as uh, I would like to have them, but uh, I don't have much choice because I've got some other plants that I wish to uh, get in this little bed as well. Now, these also are rather curious looking things. These are known as bitter melons. Okay. Another name they go by is Ampelea. So I'm going to be putting these in. These are tropical plants as well. So once again, you know, we're not guaranteed success. The roots are good on the roots are good on that one. Not so good on that one. Not okay on that one. So uh, not as far as, as advanced as these over here. But uh, I'm willing to give them a go. So these are going to go in now. Go in now. Okay, so there they are, the bitter melons. So I'm hoping this is hoping this is going to be a successful experiment. I'll be certainly happy with myself if uh, if these things do well here. Bearing in mind, uh, the UK is definitely not a tropical climate. Now, when growing things like this, it's very important that uh, you try your hardest to simulate their natural habitat. Now. Um, I may attempt to put uh, some more of these outside in the garden, up against a south-facing sort of fence or something like that. Um, obviously, in here is ideal because of the microclimate makes it uh, significantly warmer than outside. Now, another thing that's very important when growing things that uh, you're not aware of is you need to research them thoroughly because although these are okay to eat in most cases, in certain circumstances they are not, and they are indeed toxic. So um, if you're going to grow anything that you are, you know, not 100% sort of familiar with, ensure that you, uh, you do indeed do your research thoroughly first. But I'm definitely up for uh, trying new things. And here they are. Now these are going to all grow up sort of canes as they grow because they're all, uh, they're all growing, they're all climbing plants they're probably going to trail all over the back of the polytunnel but that's fine I don't mind that okay any questions please feel free to ask all the best